in an hour, well, hour and a half, I'm uh, released for uh, to go home. They uh, pulled all the tubes out of me, my IVs. Um, I uh, just have the feeding tube in. Um, I'll show you what that looks like uh, in this video. And uh, I had my first uh, still liquid food um, today. Uh, I had the barium test um, where they put you on this table and rotate you sideways and then you drink this concoction that goes down and they, see, they do an internal scan of some sort and they can see live uh, if how it goes in your body and if it's leaking out of any of the stitching stitching anywhere on the inside of my uh, new esophagus um, so um, I had that done test results all came out came back great uh, and um, so then they re so then they uh, removed the epidural um, and uh, that uh, that was easy it was a lot less painful than putting it in. Actually, I didn't even feel them take it out. Um, this tube that was in my neck, uh, or that's my stitches. Actually, the first time I really looked at that. Um, the tube went into my neck here for drainage, where they sewed sewed me up in here. Um, that was a little, a little odd and, and strange them pulling that out. Um, but they did that and. Um, Remove my IV in my arm. Uh, so I just have one one tube coming in me, and that's the, the feeding tube. So I'll give you a tour of uh, <laughs> my poorly, badly shaped body. <laughs> all right. So here's a here's a tour of all my puncture wounds. So this is the stitching that they went in. And they grabbed my stomach that they reshaped and went reached down behind my rib cage and grabbed it, pulled it up, and then stitched it to my what's well, left of my throat back in here. Uh, the good thing is, is I uh, never had any trouble swallowing. Some of the forums that I've read where people have to learn to swallow again, never had that issue. So really good about that. <coughs> Just my coughing is uh, a little bit, uh, when I'm out of breath, I cough. Uh, this was the tube that went in to uh, pick up any of the drainage for them to monitor any infection or anything that would happen that, that was going on inside at uh, where they sewed it all together. Um, I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> I think that's... Oh. That's just a piece of tape. <laughs> uh, further down, there's the main incision. It's roughly six inches long. Go back to see the scale. Roughly six inches long, um, where they reached in there and pulled my stomach out and re sewed it up into the shape of an esophagus. Um, I have these two other. They're like little puncture wounds, and I, what these were is when they cut me open, I don't know if I have another one down here or not, when they cut me open, they tie, they tie this back so that there's an open wound there, and these are just holes that are left over when they pulled, open this up and basically pulled it back to, to probably not to here, but they needed, I don't know why they couldn't have used tape. Anyway, that... And then this here is my feeding tube. Um, it comes it comes right in, and there's there's about three stitches in here, and uh, then it comes up into uh, into here, and uh, this plugs in and out, and then it runs up along this cable. Let me switch. Oh, I can't switch the cameras. <laughs> anyway. It, it runs, see if I can do this, runs along the cable and up into this machine. Um, I'll have a, and there's, there's actually what it looks like. Um, 
a soma light so that's that um, I'll be taking something like this um, home with me so anyway I'm in the process of getting dressed and uh, Julie is on her way to pick me up so I should be in the car at uh, 5 o'clock rush hour never been so happy to get into rush hour before so um, I think uh, that's it for my last uh, my seven days after the procedure post-op of a uh, um, esophagectomy there's, there's a three-word name for the procedure I had uh, soft for the esophagectomy I have to learn what that is and write it down on here so anyway uh, there are more videos after this that I'll carry you along with me um, to show my progress and uh, how I'm doing so that people can see what the recovery is like so anyway thanks for following along and uh, if you're going through this or about to go through this uh, my condolences um, but I just let you know it's not the end of the world um, there's there's hope um, and uh, you know if you ever have any troubles swallowing um, or I any issues that you think you have even if it's not the esophageal cancer go in and get it checked out it, it can never hurt to to get it early because you don't want to wait until it's too late. So thanks, guys. Later. In the elevator. In the <laughs> on our way out of the hospital. Cool. As fast as we can go. <laughs> get back away. You ready to go home, Terry? I'm ready to go home. Let's do it. <laughs>